Welcome to Microwave Delights! Hello, Air Pink. What do you have there? Looks delicious! Isn't that neat? How long do we cook that? You'll be full in no time! Time to prepare that wonderful food! Make sure you follow the instructions! Just the press of a button and we're cooking! While you're waiting, you can occupy your time with an important activity. Look! It's TV magic! Time to enjoy that delightful meal! We got two different mega meals. So this is the same line that brought you the mega bowl from Banquet. The mega bullshit. <laughs> yeah, uh, right? And uh, we have a mega pot pie along with a mega meal, which is the backyard barbecue. We got a very meaty meal today. It's all about the moots. I just keep looking at this. Moots. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a thing. All right. It will kind of backyard. Is that barbecue? Chernobyl? Yes. <laughs> we don't want to get into that. We don't really want to get into that. Oh, so, my God. Let's try, let's try the thing that we know is gross already. The, the pasty, <laughs> gluey mashed tomatoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. So you've already had other in instant mashed potatoes, yeah. right? I've had banquet mashed potatoes before. That's exactly what they taste like. You know what's oh, going to be no. really bad is this is going to be the best part of this mm -hmm. meal. That's exactly what they feel like too. And and the idea that like this is what instant mashed potatoes are is, is faulty. Because you can get instant mashed potatoes, you know, in the box, which you, you boil some water or milk or whatever and throw it in a thing and you mix it up. Those are fine. They taste pretty close to normal mashed potatoes. This is just fake snow. Microwave mashed potatoes are a whole other deal. Let's try some of this chicken. What? Chicken. <laughs> I mean, it's a little cardboardy. It tastes like 7-Eleven chicken. No, fuck that. 7-Eleven chicken is good. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Don't you besmirch 7-Eleven. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, if that was on, like, a little sandwich that they sold in the heat lamp <laughs> for, like, 99 cents. No, I've eaten those. Those aren't anywhere near this. I mean, they're not good by any means, but this is fucked up. Yeah, um, that's not so great. I, it's fucking wood pulp. <laughs> yeah. The sauce is a sauce. <laughs> it lubricates things. <laughs> Dude, you would need one of these full of sauce for every bite. This stuff is so dry and gnarly. I mean, it's there, so at least they have that. It's better than not being there. That's just so you hope that it will slide down. Mm -hmm. um, it's not great. It, it tastes like gas station barbecue sauce. But let's try a little bit of this. Wait, I, I want to make sure I don't, I, I don't want to get a bone. Yeah, don't get a bone. I'm going to cut between the bones Cut, cut here. between the bones <laughs> so you didn't get some bone. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is it so dry? <laughs> It was good for nine minutes. <laughs> no, but the the texture is like some of the the beef jerky we've gotten from the yeah. What was that one that was Primal Urge boxes? The one that oh fuck, it was one of those weird vegan ones. Or yeah, whatever that... it's not vegan, but it's like you know where it's like all natural and they got chicken in there and the like chicken and blueberries <laughs> and other weird yeah shit. yeah. It, it's that <laughs> texture. It's bad. It's it's bad. And I had a lot of sauce like your on my products should not be brittle. I had a lot of sauce on my bite, and that didn't help at all. 
Yeah, so out of that first meal, the potatoes, the star. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a backyard barbecue. If you went to a barbecue and you had food of this quality, what would you do? Well, I'd probably bury the person who made it in the backyard. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, and let's try our wine. <laughs> we have today a Pinot Noir from Rex Goliath. This is a giant chicken. See, I thought this would go with our barbecue meat, because we got some barbecue chicken. And now we got a giant chicken. <laughs> yeah. That tastes like a $6 Pinot Noir. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah. Delicious. So was this your whole idea? Was just be like, let's just see how many times we can fuck with <laughs> ourselves with yeah. this meal. Yeah. Um. <laughs> not. Not really. So here's what a Pinot should taste like. Is very juicy. It should taste like grape juice. It you starts know? off like grape juice, and then it tastes like battery acid. Yeah. No. This tastes like the worst cab sab you've ever had. Yeah. Um, but at the front end, like only for like a, a moment, it tastes like Pinot. But no, th no, this tastes like a really, really, really bad cap sap. It tastes like Arby's marinara. <laughs> it's what it tastes like. God. It tastes like it's burning my insides. Oh, uh, can we just eat this? Yeah, let's other thing. go ahead and eat whatever the fuck this is. It's basically a pizza hot pocket inside of a pot pie. There's supposed to be pepperoni and stuff in there. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be pepperoni and sausage. Little, little and pepperoni it squares. smells exactly like a Tostino's pizza roll. Oh yeah, it does. Are they the same company? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> If you've ever been like, mmm, Hot Pocket, I wish that was a casserole, <laughs> that's what this is. Nobody asked for this. <laughs> Nobody. I wish that was a casserole with some pie crust on top of it. Fuck you, Banquet. God damn. They're just trolling us now. That's um, all it is. To be fair, I think that's better than the meats. <laughs> okay. And then you get so, some of that meat. <laughs> I'm gonna go... No. <laughs> one. Oh, crap. One and one. <laughs> That's my score for all this garbage. The wine gets a one? It's gross. Okay. Not really. I don't like it. Okay. The meat thing that they were so happy about selling us on the fact that there were so many meats in this mega dinner. I don't know how you can be happy with that, right? I don't know how you can be like, oh shit, they're giving me a lot of meat, and then eat that, where nothing tastes like actual meat, and be happy. No. That, that, that's like a four. At most. Because I feel like you could put one of these patties on like a, on like a French bread or something. Why do you want to add more pulp to pulp? I, I'm just saying, you could hide the flavor, maybe, but also keep the, 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 like, the mouth feel. <laughs> no. You could keep the sense that there's material there. The mass. The mass of meat. You could get the mass. You could also eat a sponge. Yeah! <laughs> and get the mass. <laughs> True. I get, like, barely any grape flavor, but at the end, I taste, like, smokiness. It's yeah. like, what the fuck is going on No, I think, I think you're right. There's something, like, it's not an intended flavor. That's, like, the aftertaste <laughs> of the chemicals that they put in there. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah, happens so. when you mix hydrofluoric acid with other things. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. It's alchemy in your mouth. Congratulations. It, it, it literally tastes nothing like a Pinot Noir, so I have to give that a three. It's gross. What's bad is, like, the actual banquet pot pies aren't that bad. Yeah. Especially for the price. Where, like, this is... This is just 
spitting in the face of their normal pot pies. Yeah. Th th this whole meal is basically I Frankenstein. A pot pie is, it's a four, because I feel like I could eat Thomas Jane. a pizza casserole. <laughs> like maybe you just throw a bunch of cheese on here or something. I don't know. Well, like, that'd be, that would, wouldn't be so bad if like you made it kind of how I did the, uh, that fucking the Reuben bake yeah. thing. If you did it that way, it'd be okay, but it's a different texture of a crust. Yeah, but it's like nothing here is absolutely inedible. It's just really, really you close don't to it. Eat it. <laughs> it's really close to being unedible. I think banquet isn't great to begin with. The last thing you need is bigger yeah, portions more of, it. of it. More of it. <laughs> hey, let's give you some more of the shit. Let's give you some more of this particle board. With barbecue sauce on top of it, call it some fucking ribs. I don't like it. I'm out. I also Fuck don't it. like it. No, this is very good. I'm leaving. We're gonna get out of here. This has been Microwave Delights. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Remember not to ever buy any banquet stuff. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, follow all the social media, and check us out next time when we microwave something up. Hopefully a little bit more edible. <laughs>